unbelievablebeats.com production. Flow, flow, flow. Hi, this is Sean Friedman from unbelievablebeats.com and globalheatwave.com, which is 20,000 free wave samples for music production. Wanted to go over how to make your song have a more human feel and offset things a little bit so everything is not like a robot. And what this means is you're going to offset things in milla, 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 milliseconds. The listener is going to be moving their head, grooving to the beat, and they're not going to know why. And it's all because of what you set up here. And these little nuances are crucial in separating a good song to a great song and making everything okay with your groove. I know you, you've heard of MPC grooves, uh, groove templates and Pro Tools, copying and pasting from other grooves, and swing, but here's the story. You can set it up all in FL Studio very easily. First example I'm going to talk about here is the hi-hat, which is this channel right here. Tick, click, 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 tick, tick. That's the hi-hat channel, and if I solo it, it's just one volume, and it's completely on beat, very robotic. robotic. So, first way I want to show you how to move things over, um, we're going to click on the channel for the hi-hat, <clears throat> and also time and velocity are two crucial things here. Now I'm on the channel, and I'm going to click over here on this first square, and you have some options here. Here's the velocity. Now this correlates with each hi-hat. So on the second hi-hat, I'm moving the velocity down, fourth down. So on every other, I'm moving down the velocity of the hi-hat. And you can hear that. The second hi-hat, it can be, maybe raise them up a tiny, tiny bit or adjust them how you want. There's no rules in music production, so do however you want. People who use this type of stuff right here, and this could be for indie rock, this could be for electronic, this could be for hip-hop, this could be for jazz. Just use your ear. But some of the people that use this, if you pay attention to the songs, would be like a Kanye West, a Wu-Tang, maybe sometimes Dr. Dre, um, and for sure RZA. You know, also Red Man and Method Man do this a lot. So already it's more like a human, and that was dealing with the velocity. And also, um, setting things up, uh, get into the channel. You have some uh, folders here, sample, instrument, miscellaneous, and function. You want to be on function and go down here, and this is the fine time shift. It says uh, OFS. I think that's offsetting it a little bit. So this is another trick which moves things over to the right in milla, 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 milliseconds and it's going to make it more in the groove with the beat and not so much like a robot and it's going to humanize it. So on the hi-hat, let's see if I go all the way to the right. See, you already heard that. It's completely off. How about in the middle? Okay. That'll work. So what I do since you know all the way to the right is completely off and it's it's moving things over in milla milla milliseconds to get thing in t to get your song in the groove so to speak you're going to want to just move it up to the right a little bit and that'll work out fine and that's it all right hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial hopefully it helps out with your projects sean friedman unbelievablebeats.com signing off